What's up, YouTube? Last week, found out the hard way that a uh, stock electronic speed controller on the Optera is not meant to handle those larger props that a uh, 13 by 7 and the uh, larger 14 inch prop just can't handle that, uh, that extra amperage it needs to get. And uh, so this week, I uh, ordered a uh, little bit larger than the 30 amp. This is here. Let me get a little focus on that. 60 amp YEP ESC from uh, Hobby King. Came in at $32, so a pretty reasonable cost. Also picked up the uh, programming card there. $6 extra. Makes it a little easier to program. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wire that guy up and uh, then we'll go from there. So what in the world have we done? Well, let me uh, go over that real quick with you. Uh, the first thing we did was we uh, uninstalled this uh, 40 amp E-Flight uh, electronic speed controller uh, out of the Optera in favor of our 60 amp. Uh, got that hooked up. Uh, I actually pulled the motor and took the prop off. Uh, kind of a word of advice. Learned the hard way of that one too. Uh, do not try to program an ESC with the prop attached. It's a bad idea. Now, pretty much any way you any way you fold it. Um, so uh, then the next thing I did was um, I made sure the prop is going in the right direction. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, what you do is you've got your three wires here. Um, so go ahead and uh, plug everything in like you were going to run it. This thing is set up for the, the speed controller. The um, uh, YEP speed controller is set up for a helicopter um, to begin with, but that's fine. It'll still work. Um, just plug everything in like normal. And uh, when you got the three wires going to your motor, if you've got it spinning in the wrong direction, just flip-flop one of the wires. So unplug one, flip-flop it with one of the others, and you should be good. So to program the speed controller, the YEP 60 amp uh, from Hobby King, uh, bought a $6 programming card. And uh, essentially what you do is you've got one wire hooked up directly uh, to the uh, throttle channel on your, receive, on your receiver. Um, just how you'd have you normally your ESC plugged into that. And then you unplug the ESC and plug it into the other um, guy, uh, which is, I believe, the one on the right. Um, it's labeled, so don't get that wrong. <laughs> um, now, when you power up your system, you need to be able to hear beeps on your motor. This is important to know that you're actually programming it. Um, I've got the programming guide right here in front of me, and I will throw that down there in the description. Um, so don't worry about that. You know, you'll have that on hand. Um, and let's get to programming this thing. All right, guys, here's the details on the card. So we've got a, uh, a programming card set up. We've got one wire going to the uh, um, speed controller itself, this guy. Uh, this one is going over to your receiver. And uh, what you want to do is, once you've got it plugged in, and once you can hear the beeps on the motor, when you actually power up your flight pack, um, you should be able to scroll through these options on the left using this LED, um, using the down button, which is the, so this is a down button, this is enter the menu button. And then this enter button over here is actually going to save your setting. And you'll hear the motor beep when the, when the setting is actually saved. So let's go ahead and run through here. I'm going to program this. Um, so there's two pages, and I'll talk about how to get into the second page in just a minute. So the first page, uh, you use this button here to scroll down. So I'm on the timing. I'm going to leave it on the stock 18 degrees. 
um, I'm going to go to the brake. So the brake is going to set, you know, how do you want your motor to, um, to cut out when you go zero on throttle? Do you want it to do nothing and have it spin, which is off? So let's go down to that menu. So I'm going to hit the down button. It takes us into the brake. And right now I've got it set on middle. So essentially what's going to happen is when I let off the throttle, um, you're gonna, the motor is going to, um, in a medium speed, I don't know, it doesn't give me the you know, degrees per second that the motor, or um, you know, uh, the actual rate of speed decline, but it does say middle. I think we're gonna go with that for now. Um, you can go to the cutoff type, which is how, so there's got two options here, um, this displayed if you line up the LEDs. So um, right now I've got it to slow down when the battery voltage is low. And I've got it set on LiPo, which is exactly what I want. I don't want it to just turn off when the batteries die. I want it to slow down. So that's perfect. So let's go down to the next one. So cutoff voltage. Again, between 2.4 and 3.1, that's about right for a normal uh, one, you know, one cell of your LiPos. When you get one cell down to that voltage, down to the 2.4, that's what you want it to cut off at. Perfect. Um, the number of cells, we don't set that on this card. That doesn't make any sense. I'm actually not really sure. I'd have to look that up as to why um, you would even set that here. Um, again, number of cells and then special functions. Um, we don't have to set that either. So now we've got the whole first page figured out. And then what we want to do is go into the second page. Here's how you flip to the second page. It's kind of ridiculous. Hold down these two buttons and you're going to see the, the LED on the left when you let go start flashing. That means turn the page. We're now on the second page. So, we don't want to have a governor on, uh, we don't need that, uh, so hit the down button again to go to the next thing. So you got your P gain, your I gain, uh, proportional integral gains, uh, we're going to leave that default because the one thing that I care about in this setup is the startup speed. So startup speed right now is set for heli middle. This is a fixed wing aircraft, I'm going to set that for plane middle instead. So the way to do that is for now that you've clicked down to this menu, click the up button to enter it and change the setting. And you can scroll all the way across, see the LED there on the, on the top? You can scroll all the way across and keep setting it. So I'm gonna set it plain middle and I'm gonna hit enter and we're gonna hear the motor beep. That means that it's accepted. If you do not hear that sound, bad. <laughs> you, that will not work. So now to keep going in this menu, we're going to click down where you have the PWM set frequency setup, leave that standard, and start up power between 1 and 32% or auto mode. That's kind of what we want. So we're done. ESC's program, let's put the plane back together. together stay tuned uh, this weekend I'm gonna be shooting the next video which is gonna be uh, finally with the new ESC uh, that can handle the amperage and a new scale that can handle the thrust of the E-Flight Optera hoping to get those numbers up there so uh, stay tuned